October is supposed to be Cybersecurity Awareness Month, but perhaps it should be rebranded as Cloud Awareness Month or the cloud going down because of DNS month. We had AWS going down, we had Azure going down, and it doesn't seem to stop. We now have quantum going down. So the impact of this from IBM is probably a lot smaller, but again, it's a warning that when you use the cloud, you're using someone else's computer. You are using their systems and things can go wrong as we've seen with huge cloud providers like AWS and Azure. IBM have told us that their quantum computer is temporarily unavailable. This was updated 30th of October, 2025. This is from Cyber News. We told that this is a cloud service that allows customers to use quantum processes installed at the IBM European Quantum Data Center near the German city of Stuttgart. It became available in April, 2025, but has already gone down. Because in many cases, and I'm not sure if this is the reason why it went down, but it's difficult to maintain the supercomputing quantum bits or qubits which are the driving force behind quantum computing and keep them in a stable state. So again, as a friendly reminder in October, 2025, the cloud is someone else's computers or someone else's devices that you are leveraging. They do go down. They do have issues, cybersecurity issues, availability issues, et cetera. Things can go wrong. And the big one that I think a lot of us are concerned about these days is privacy issues, especially in the world of AI, whose data is the data stored in the cloud? Is it yours or does it belong to the cloud provider? So what do you think? Do you trust Microsoft? Do you trust AWS? Do you trust Google with the privacy of your data? Do you trust them that they'll protect your data? Do you think they will respect your data and not use it to train the AIs, for example? What do you think? Is it a good idea to use the cloud in 2025 going into 2026? Or should you now migrate your data back to offline systems that you control and where you don't have to pay a subscription for a service? And when you stop paying that subscription, your data disappears. What are your thoughts?